The St. Charles Parish Animal Shelter aims to protect all animals in our parish. To do this, ordinances have been put in place to ensure a dynamic quality of life for both our two and four-legged residents. We talked with Dr. Gina Troxler about the Bully Breed Ordinance and how it aims to ensure the safety and well-being of the breeds. According to definitions of bully breeds, the types are American Bullies, American Pit Bull Terriers, American Staffordshire Terriers, Boxers, Bulldogs, Mastiffs, Staffordshire Bull Terriers, and mixes thereof. So according to section 4-10C of our ordinances, bully breeds and bully types do have some requirements and they have existed for 25 years. Part of it is protection of the breed for humane housing and for safe housing. Um, so there are no escapes, no injuries. In this ordinance, the bully breed does have to be registered with animal control have a current yearly rabies and be microchipped. And if a complaint is received on that animal in any capacity, <clears throat> they can be required to have a six foot fence and a pin within their fence as a second barrier. There were a couple of modifications in November of 2020 and that changed a four foot fence to a six foot fence based on cases that we were receiving of animals scaling a fence and getting loose. Honestly, it still occurs and in our ordinance and it's always existed, but we clarified it. We made modifications. You can never tie up a bully breed. You can never, never tether them because the groups that breed them for fighting, they live tethered their whole lives with the dog house in the dirt. That is all still a reality, and we do adopt out pit bulls. We have nothing against the breed or pit bull types, bully types, but they do go through behavior testing because dog aggression is something that is bred into them by bull breeders. So according to section 4-10C under the bully ordinance, we do have the exception that sometimes we will have a stray pit bull that is not aggressive, has not caused any complaints to surface, and they can come in with a microchip and a current rabies vaccine, and the owner is called because the owner is linked to that microchip, and we advise that they can sign a statement of understanding that if the dog is ever loose again or receives a complaint, then there, it will be enforcement of the six foot fence, the pin within the fence. So that modification of a sort of um, first time statement of understanding for dogs that are registered and in compliance with everything else, um, the owner is informed and given a second chance to comply and not ever have that dog loose and have to have the following regulations as bully breeds that have had complaints. So when you adopt a bully breed from the shelter, the stipulation is a six foot fence already exists. And they do sign that statement of understanding that if a complaint is ever had, that pin within the fence will be necessary. So the bully breeds are something that we receive frequently at the animal shelter. We do love the breed, we do adopt the breed, However, it is a breed that historically has been poorly bred. Dog fighting is the nature of what can occur with these types of animals. Therefore, the proper housing, the humane housing is enforced for them. And the microchip registration also prevents theft or the dumping of animals that can be attached to someone with malicious intent. It is the highest number of at-large animals that enter our shelter, around 66%. It is the highest number of animals that come in with heartworm disease, about 88%. We do adopt the breed, we do like the breed, but we also provide them as well as all canines that come in with behavior testing before adopting out.